Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Kev, man. I'm back at y'all with another video, man, as y'all can see from the title. Um, back at y'all with some more tornado videos, man. I know I was slacking at the end of the, um, in the last last year, man, with the uh, with the weather videos, man. I know y'all really love the weather videos. Man, when I'm back, man, so, um, you know, so I thought I'd go ahead and start off with a, uh, with a good tornado video for y'all, man, that I have not seen yet, man. It's, and it's a good size video, man. It's a good 15-minute long video, man. Um, this one is called Tornado Videos. You wouldn't believe if not films, you know what I'm saying? So it's probably, it's probably, probably gonna be a whole bunch of big ass tornadoes. And I'm, I feel like I've reacted to a lot of tornadoes, so I feel like most likely a good amount of them I probably probably already saw. But we'll wait, we'll, we're gonna see, man. It's gonna, I mean, honestly, you could probably not because I mean, there's a lot of places that, that have had tornadoes, you know, especially in other countries. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's been videos where I've seen where places like Sweden and shit like that have had tornadoes. There's been places I didn't even know could have even had tornadoes, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, but we can go ahead and get to this video, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure y'all hit that post notifications button, man, so y'all know when your boy posts. Let's get it on. <clears throat> Chances are, unless you live in a few pretty specific parts of the world, you've never seen a tornado in real life before. Luckily for you, thanks to the internet, you can experience the craziness that is a tornado from the comfort of your own home. From a massive twister tearing through a city to a POV shot of what it's like to be hit by a Category 4 storm, here are five tornado videos you wouldn't believe if not filmed. The United States gets more tornadoes than any other country with around 1,200 a year. That's four times more than the entire continent of Europe and ten times more. Personally, I feel like I thought it was lower than that. I'm not going to I thought, I mean, I'm tripping. I thought it was more than that. 1,200 is actually lower than I thought it was. But, yeah, because I ain't going to lie. I personally, I live in Virginia, so, uh, yeah, Virginia would be probably average maybe seven or eight tornadoes per year. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and a lot of those good, and that good seven or eight that happen, they're usually down south. You know what I'm saying? So, down further south, you know, of me, so. Uh, you know, you start getting off like the Norfolk down that area, you know what I'm saying? Type of handing down that area, but um, but yeah, obviously, Virginia's a big ass state, so <laughs> it's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of places in Virginia, man, but um, but yeah. Then Canada, which is the country that's in second place. When it comes to tornadoes, America is indisputably number one. Back in 2014, a group of storm chasers set out to film a string of massive tornadoes that hit northeast Nebraska. The majority of the buildings in the small town of Pilger were totally destroyed. After the tornadoes were finished, virtually the entire town had been blown away. The town, which has only 378 residents, has a very fitting motto. It's the little town too tough to die. I guess that's just the kind of town motto. That's a real small town. That's a true area, small town, about 370 people. That's crazy. Like these. That's a big ass tornado, bro. I'm never gonna lie. You see all the debris around it? Jeez. I mean, they, I mean, obviously, I mean, I mentioned every tornado, but they say, obviously, you know, they say tornadoes sound like a train, man. Going to your house. Bro, the debris is huge, bro. Nebraska is part of an area known as Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley is not an area with exact borders or anything. 
but as a general area in the United States where tornadoes happen way more often than they do anywhere else. Parts of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, South Dakota, Iowa, and Nebraska make up Tornado Alley. Why South does Dakota. America have so many tornadoes? Hey. America hey. has unique geography that makes tornadoes common. There's a mixture of warm, moist air from down south and cold air from up north. Combine this with a handful of vertical mountain ranges, and you have prime conditions for just the sort of weather that... I'm not gonna lie, bro. I didn't even know South Dakota had... I didn't know South... Did, did he say South Dakota? Damn, I don't want to go back. But damn, I could have sworn he said South Dakota. I didn't know South Dakota was part of uh, Tornado Alley, though. That's crazy. That's his tornado. Believe it or not, Tornado Alley is not the place in the world that gets the most tornadoes. At least, not in terms of tornadoes per square mile, that is. The Netherlands has more tornadoes than any other country relative to its land area. It gets at least 20 or so every year, which ends up being 0.0013 tornadoes per square mile. The country with the second most is the UK, which doesn't even come close. On a rainy day Bro, in Amsterdam what? back in August of 2019, I'm glad I watched this man video. caught one of these tornadoes as it formed. I'm not when glad I watched out his window here. and noticed That's the crowd crazy. spinning, he immediately took out his phone and began filming. That shit look crazy. That shit forming right in front of him, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just uh, talking in the back, bro. That should look crazy. In this video, you can see the tornado slowly take shape and then touch down in the water, throwing some debris up into the air. The tornado wasn't particularly large or powerful, but the man filming was still shocked to see even a small tornado in the heart of the Netherlands' largest city. Around this same time, a tornado also touched down in nearby Petange, Luxembourg, and did over a million euros worth of damage. It ripped the roofs off of over a hundred houses and sent seven people to the hospital. Kansas is probably the place most closely associated with tornadoes in the entire world. Depending on where you are in Kansas, there are probably tornado shelters and other structures intended to keep people safe. But not everyone wants to be safe. Whenever there is a tornado, it's likely that somewhere nearby there is somebody following it, trying to capture the moment on film. These people are called storm chasers. We're just chasers for sure. And it's thanks to them that we have I'm moments like these to to right for ourselves. On May 24th, 2016, residents in Dodge City, Kansas, were on high alert for the possibility of a severe storm. Mm. Knowing what this might mean, a group of storm chasers set out with the hopes of capturing something unbelievable on film. And they got just that. The group that soon like found themselves face to face bro. with a powerful and violent EF3 tornado. That shit got big as fuck quick. God damn. Oh, no, I'm good. Ooh, that's crazy. Keep keeping up. What's up, man? 
this out of YouTube. But we'll see how. That show like it's moving fast, I'm not gonna lie. This shit is moving fast. In the video, you can see a Kansas police cruiser further up the road. As the tornado moved across the landscape, it grew in intensity, even sucking up the roof of a building. The men in the car try their best to inch closer, all while watching to make sure the tornado doesn't suddenly change course. See, that's the thing, man. The tornado seemingly... That's what I always say, man. I mean, obviously, I've never done storm chasing. Though. Obviously, I want to one day, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, that's the one thing, bro. I feel like sometimes people do just get, like, chase, the storm chasers get way too close, bro. Because one thing about tornadoes, bro, them don't move. They might look like they're moving in one direction, and they literally can switch a different direction and literally within seconds you know what i'm saying so and sometimes depending on how the depending on uh the size of the tornado most likely you probably wouldn't even notice that it even changed direction you know what i'm saying but you know it's the less you're tracking it you're probably not going to even realize that it's even you know that it's even moving uh you know that it changed direction but shit crazy though as if it never even existed. The city of Batna in Algeria isn't known for extreme weather, let alone tornadoes. Even though it's near the Sahara Desert, it doesn't even get that hot. Average temperatures in the summer only get into the upper 80s Fahrenheit, something that residents of a place like Arizona would scoff at. In this video, shot in April of 2018, we see a powerful tornado form and travel through the desert city. Given how uncommon of an occurrence this was, it's no surprise residents were caught off guard and began filming. The video starts off with the tornado far off in the distance. With each passing second, the tornado grows larger and larger until eventually it plows through the city. What size? What 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 uh? What size? I think that is on the scale. That look like. I say like that look like a good EF. That look like a that look like a four, like maybe like a four, three or four, probably a four. That look like it's like a four. I was gonna say five, but we've seen obviously we I've done plenty of reactions and we've seen what an EF5 tornado look like. And it does not look like that, so <laughs> the hell? Is that hell in here? City now. Yeah. Alright, get inside, bro. The cameraman later said saying. the tornado destroyed a nearby house, mm. but nobody was inside at the time. As for him and his family, they too made it out uninjured. The worst part of this storm actually wasn't the tornado, but what came later. The tornado was caused by severe weather conditions that brought in heavy rain, hail, and flooding. Mm. The area got two inches of rain, something which is pretty rare for the normally dry region. Two inches of rain doesn't seem like much, and it isn't for many places but it can cause serious damage in areas where the ground isn't ready to absorb it, leading to devastating floods. 
An EF4 tornado is one that has wind speeds that, that looks exceed very 165 miles. That looks very horrifying. At this level, there is going to be serious damage, and even well-constructed buildings are likely to get torn to shreds. Back in May, if that's a EF4, then the last one, I'm, I'll take that back. The last one, like that, probably like a EF3. Tornado then. touched down in Bonner Springs, Kansas, wanting to capture the moment on film while also staying out of harm's way. A man came up with the idea to attach a GoPro to a metal fence post. Mm. Little did he know that the tornado was headed right for him. The video See? starts That's off. That's what I'm saying, bro. Off. People don't even realize it, bro, when it's coming their way. But it's not so bad. There's even some sun shining through. After about a minute and a half, this all changes. In the background, you can now see the monster tornado begin to form. As time ticks by, the sky gets darker and darker until finally the tornado reaches the camera. Big see it forming in the back. Darker and darker, that be. Yeah, you can see you see it, the air sucking in, like going that way, like going like away from the camera. That right there just tells you that's a tornado. I know y'all see that. You see like the that of the wind like going away from the camera. Then there you go. Now it's reaching the camera. Towards the end of the video, it's too dark to see much. The whole area has been cast under a shadow, and the wind is too intense. The tornado inches closer until eventually the fence post that the camera is on is actually pulled up out of the ground. The camera flies through the air for a few seconds before turning off. Surprisingly, the person who left the camera there was able to find it afterwards and then post this video. This recording is basically what it looks like to be hit head-on in an EF4 tornado. Do you think you could withstand those conditions? Of all the extreme weather events on Earth, tornadoes are definitely one of the most incredible. They are I'm gonna be honest with you, like, force, but also one that is inspired. Obviously, I've never been actually through a tornado, but I feel like um, I'm not far from pausing y'all. I know the video almost over, but I feel like, yeah, EF4, EF5, those are damn near, you damn near guy, you damn near just gotta be lucky. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, like all of these people that have survived tornadoes like that, like EF4, EF5s, like, you don't, there's no way to, pre like, bro, there's really no way to prepare for that. Like, let's be honest, bro. There's really no way to prepare for that shit, bro. Like, like, Unless you, because if you don't have a storm shelter, it's it's a fifty fifty chance that you survive. And you either most of the time, if you're not in a storm shelter, you're not. I like, guess either you gonna survive or you gonna die. I'm gonna be real with you. That's just the the reality of it. Yeah, that's the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? But like even like I think the best one that I've reacted to, the worst tornado I've reacted to is I gotta say probably top two for me is probably more Oklahoma tornado and Joplin. I gotta say, those two are probably, like, those two still stick to me, like, just watching the documentary videos, knows, and seeing what people went through, man, because I think the death toll for Joplin was, like, 160. Yeah, so... Yeah. Man, but but nothing's worse than them earthquakes. I Actually, man, make sure y'all go check out the video. Man, I actually reacted to some drone footage, man, from uh, damage from the, from the, uh, from the, the earthquakes that happened in Turkey and uh, Syria, man, so make sure y'all go check out that video, man. I, I think I've seen that. The death toll hit, got over 
got over 40, it's, I think it hit 46,000 death totally, which is fucking insane. But, um, but yeah, let me go ahead and finish up this video, man. And beautiful. Hopefully, as time goes on, we will become better equipped to prepare for and alert residents of any possible threats, saving lives in the process. <sighs> if you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. Yeah, man, I fuck with Underworld, man. Watching. I like Underworld, man. I like their videos, but, um... But uh, but yeah, man, yeah, I like Underworld, man. Definitely, I'm definitely gonna make sure I check out some more videos from them. Uh, but uh, man, uh, make sure y'all, make sure y'all send me more videos to react to, man. It doesn't have to be weather, man. Obviously, that's what I love to do, man. But um, y'all can send me more stuff to react to, man. Um, kind of remember before, man. Like when I first started doing YouTube, I was doing everything. I was doing weather. I was not because I actually no, I'm tripping. I didn't when I first started doing YouTube. We didn't do weather. I didn't do any weather videos. I mostly did like music reactions. And, and then I started to shy away from, like, music reactions and stuff like that because it was starting to get copyrighted. Like, like I literally just did a re recent music video reaction to this morning, and that shit got blocked. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I don't know. I try to stay away from music reaction videos, man. That's what I'm trying to get more stuff to do, man. Um, Like, I shoot before, man. We used to, I used to be all over, man. I used to do, shoot, I, I remember I reacted to the most dangerous water slides. Like, I, 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 I react to anything, man. See, I definitely send more stuff to react to, man. But, um... Like I said, it don't have to be weather. Y'all can send me anything, man. But um, anything y'all want me to react to, y'all want to see me react to. So, but yeah, man. Um, that's gonna do it for this video, man. Let me know in the comments, man, how y'all like this video, man. Uh, yeah, and I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.